Jay McCall reporting live. It's nice of you to join us on one of these rare Sunday night episodes. Uh, today's May 1st. Uh, it was actually the uh, first of the season, um, the Riverview Park uh, Farmer's Market up in uh, Jersey City Heights. Um, big favorite there, we're very happy it's back, is the Riggs Company Provisions, which I wanted to uh, bring back to you. So Riggs Company Provisions, um, we were introduced to these guys last year. Um, but it's uh, two ladies, they run a little booth. And they were there almost every week. And this is their smoked trout dip and just... One of the, my favorite things on the menu, they also make a absolutely kick-ass um, uh, personal sized pie, which is, uh, I believe it's uh, steak and blue cheese. And they have another one that's a uh, hunter's pie with uh, pork, but I definitely recommend the steak and blue cheese. They're doing some new technology this time, where they're gonna maybe par cook it and you'll finish it at home. Blue cheese reheats delightfully. Uh, so anyway, uh, before I digress, uh, Riggs Company Provisions uh, actually goes back to 1848, just doing a little Googling on their website. Uh, it was originally uh, the current proprietor's great-great-grandfather. It was a whole, wholesale food distribution, hence the name. They didn't just cook this up. Um, and uh, 2020, she decided to uh, bring it back. Um, I don't know if it was like during the pandemic, in the middle of the pandemic, whatever, um, or maybe right before, but um, really excellent um, prepared foods um, across all different cultures. So she's got some, like, definitely some French influence. And then she's got, uh, she's got like, uh, garlic tomb, uh, lemon dips, things like that. So really just across the board here, just whatever tastes good. Uh, if they're putting out something, it's gonna be a little expensive, but it's absolutely delicious. Heartily recommend it, treat yourself. Uh, so they're in a uh, review farmer's market first and third Sunday of each month. And then uh, this year, it seems they're starting also in the Hamilton uh, Park Farmer's Market every Wednesday afternoon. Uh, so we have here is their uh, trout dip, as I mentioned, and just have a few leftover crackers uh, from yesterday's tasting. And uh, this trout dip is a uh, smoked rainbow trout. Uh, if you're a fan of uh, lox uh, on uh, bagels, anything like that, don't, don't do Wonder Bagel in Jersey City. Um, come down to Hoboken, there's much better bagels. I know Wonder Bagel's kind of got a monopoly up in Jersey City right now. Um, but this is, if you can see it, um, definitely got some, it's definitely got a cream cheese component to it, uh, but you're looking at a, a really hearty mix. If, if you go get smoked lox cream cheese uh, in a deli, like you're, you're really not getting a lot of fish in here. This is chock full of fish. And it is marvelous. If you need a late night snack to just pull out of the fridge, have some crackers, treat yourself. You can't go wrong with a smoked trout dip. I would be delighted if they were open year round. And I think they do actually do provisions year round, um, just not through the farmer's market. Um, you can definitely order on their website and they do delivery within the area. Uh, this is just so appreciative that this has been on their menu. It's been a mainstay. Actually, I'm just going to treat myself to another one because these are just irresistible here. Uh, the rainbow trout dip. Can't go wrong here. And now you might hear that little ticking in the background. That is actually their Rappé Morvandel, which is um, kind of like a quiche. And let's see if that's done. Yeah, looks like it's good. One of our little oven mitts here and bring that over. And this is going to be super hot. Ooh, ooh, it's hot. It's hot. It's been in there for a bit. Uh, so this is kind of like a quiche. Um, it's got ham, cheese, onion, uh, egg, uh, as well as a shredded potato base. Um, so it's kind of a little bit different than a than your traditional quiche. And uh, this is this is also a delightful thing. Uh, Cynthia loves these. Um, they reheat very nicely for a breakfast. Um, mm, delicious. The, the shredded potato really just adds an extra layer here. And um, I believe they're cooked in a pan. You get that nice little crust on the outside. And this is a this is a delightful item on their menu as well. Uh, in my opinion, it doesn't hold a candle to the trout dip. Again, that's that's top billing here, that and the steak pie. But they really can't go wrong with either. I mean, if you make it up to one of these farmers markets, take a look at what they have. I noticed coming back this season, their chalkboard of what they had was so many new items on the menu to explore, as well as like prepared sauces and things you could reheat during the during the week. And they also do a meal plan if you'd like to get. Kind of like omakase, like what they'll give you during the week. Um, cooking up different menu items each week if you if you want to subscribe to that as well. Uh, yesterday was the Earth Day. It was a big weekend full of events here. Uh, Hudson River Apiary, which is a uh, 501c3 nonprofit, uh, and they work with uh, local schools. Uh, their beer, beekeeper, uh, was there, almost said beer, beer keeper there. Uh, they were up and around. And um, this is local honey. Uh, let's see if I have a little tiny spoon here. Uh, let's use one of the, let's use one of the little spoons. A little orange, orange spoon right there. This is local honey from uh, bees. I believe these are in Weehawken, and uh, this is just delicious honey. One more cracker here. We'll just 
try that. Um, the this was about uh, I think about twenty bucks a jar, um, and then the uh, the students had a uh, different. This is just their raw unfiltered honey. Um, the students had some other products available. Uh, so basically, the, the Beekeeper Society basically donates some of their honey product uh, to the students and the students, and it's it's all a fundraiser that goes back and supports the bees. And I mean, you gotta you gotta freaking support the bees while they're here. Um, as we, we mentioned, the pizza episode. I mean, who knows what's going on with the honey? And this is just a really nice. If you're going to the supermarket and getting the honey in a little that little plastic bear, get rid of that. Even if you're going to Costco, you're getting the big jug of honey. Or if you're doing big recipes, but if you want to treat yourself to just a nice honey. You have over some cheese, some bread, some crackers, and maybe over some breakfast, some toast. Get some good honey. Support your local bee makers. And um, there was one other thing I wanted to discuss here. Oh, yeah, so the Coke Starlight. Uh, join us, I, hopefully, Tuesday. We're going up to the Chop Shop in uh, Jersey City. Best Steaks in the Heights. Uh, to the garage. And we're going to try and do a... Um, when Oliver Holbrook, I'm looking for this. Apparently, it came out in February. I missed it. Pratik Mavani actually suggested that we do an episode on this. Uh, and so we're going to try it. Um, we got a pack of mini cans here, and uh, we're going to see what this what this nonsense is about. Uh, so join us Tuesday. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, um, Riggs Provisions, uh, hit up the Hamilton Park Farmers Market on Wednesday. Check out their website at Riggs Company Provisions, and uh, and see what they got. I'm sure there's something something that they got that you're like. Have a great night. Bye bye.